me quitaste acá Yeah, me comare el Lengo me chorchi obel Es el teo me dar el First of all, thank you for 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 being an amazing curator and for for curating this body of work. Let, let me tell you one thing. I'm I'm always been like surrounded by by a strong woman in my life, especially black women. Mm -hmm. So this is just like this is actually the first time I'm doing like a I'm exploring a, a body of work um, on black women, on black female, um, and. It was just like the right time, and also just like the right um, the right context mm -hmm. to talk about women and to showcase a body of work about women with uh, uh, March 8, which is the day of uh, International Women's Day around the world. Yeah, um, actually, like the um, the casting was was quite easy because. Um, those young women uh, were like, they, they were like one of my first fan base in here in Dakar as, as young ladies um, coming to my shows and stuff like that. But also they, they are really like close friends. They're always together, uh, which is um, Tainabu uh, Say and um, Tainabu Sa, um, Kizako and, and, and Numba Say what. So, uh, and um, I just decided because like, actually like Numbe kind of looked like um, Yande Kodisan, which is more like the darker woman. And uh, Senebu is looking look more like uh, Senebu Saab Kizako, looks more like um, uh, Abikana Job. And uh, that was pretty easy to, to, cast, to cast them. And also they were so welcoming and so like open to, to become my morals. So, so and I love poetry. Um, I started with um, um, one of my first work was like about poetry, and there's one in one text that I said like "Appelle moi l'aigle, ou même si tu veux la perdre, car depuis que j'ai su que l'amour n'a pas de prix, à cœur ouvert, je te fais une révélation, mon frère, je prie, pour que le Seigneur dissipe nos peines, nos gènes, nos gènes, et tu nous aides de l'amour, de la sympathie, non, mon gène. When she sings, it's just like feel it in your bones. Mm -hmm. Like you become this lion, even like you might be like a cat, <laughs> but you become this lion and just like siring, roaring. Um, so, um, and also, Habigana Job were more like this uh, young, bold uh, woman in the 90s. We used to uh, self proclaim herself as the first rapper in the world in, in Africa or in the world mm -hmm. and that rap music started in Africa and stuff like that so it was just like um, the right two females that I, I kind of like um, noticed that um, in my country they did not have the, um, the value that they supposed to have um, in, in writings we don't see them that much in, 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 in visual we don't see them that much so they are kind of like forgotten. So that's why I decided to work on that and kind of like enlightening them. Yeah. And within like, you know, the country and um, how do you think it is like the position of women Do you think like there's still some sort of limitations or times? Society in general is male dominated. Yeah. So like do, do you think that, that problem is still persists? Still persists, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Even though like we we made a lot of like steps like forward. Especially when we had our president watch, we kinda like um, decided to have fifty percent of women and he called this kind of new idea parité. So 50% of men and 50% of women in everything. So we even had like female cab drivers while Wad was here. Um, and uh, during Wad, I remember that like all the um, four by four cars were driven by women. And so now, so I think like we had, a, we did a lot of step forward, but we still, and women still suffering. Because I've noticed with the protests as well, 
too. Yeah. I don't see any. You, do you know why? Why is that? Because like, I don't remember numbers in the riots or the protests. Yeah. Yeah. It's very interesting to me. Yeah, yeah. You barely see women because um, in Senegal they call it they call it sutura. So women have to be like in uh, behind the men. Women have to be like in the kitchen doing stuff and just like taking care of their husband, taking care of their kids. So, but t this thing is changing. Uh, right now we have one of the actually like we share the same class mm. uh, and now she's um, she became like um, one of the um, uh, advisor of uh, the opposition um, Usman Sonko her name is um, uh, I still forgot her name mm -hmm. but she's um, she was a close friend mm -hmm. and um, she's uh, she's even like uh, she's actually like in custody because of the riots and, yeah. and stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Well, I'm glad like you've chosen women as a subject matter because rarely do we see, um, you know, male you know, African photographers that center women in their work in a way that's not. You know, a lot of times when artists center women, it's always very sexualized. Mm -hmm. It's not really about you know who they are and what they can do. It's always about the body and like body and things like that. But it's really good that you sort of shifted the lens. Yeah, definitely, because like this is an ongoing series. Mm -hmm. Right now we just have like two subjects, which is Abigail Job and um, uh, Yanni Kodusen based in Senegal, from Senegal. But my idea is like to just like showcase women in, in all around the world, especially in Africa. Because we have a lot of women that in Africa that we never like have like writings or anything. It's just like, okay, they did like some amazing things, but we never had writing. Like, we, it's just like,